When you're playing a shooter, the controls are everything. When we started working on Killzone 3, we first read through all the forums and the reviews to see what people liked about Killzone 2 and what they thought could be improved. The controls of Killzone 2 uh, were a point that really divided the fans. Some of them really liked the heavy feel of the weapon, it made it unique, it made it different, but others felt it made the game too inaccurate and also a little bit sluggish. The way that your gun moves, the way that your head bobs around, the way that your body shudders when you're sprinting, it's those animations that give the sense of weight and immersion to the game. And we decided that whatever kind of changes we're going to make to the controls, we're not going to change that feeling of immersion. That became a challenging design task, not only keeping the, the heavy feel of the game, but also making it much more responsive. And I think in Killzone 3 we actually achieved exactly the right balance. What we did was take a really good look at the, the dead zones and the control scheme and fine-tune it to hell, basically. We came up with a system that we call Brutal Melee. We wanted to raise first-person melee to a whole new level. We wanted something really brutal, uh, something right in your face, very up close and personal. So the new system will allow you to do all these uh, painfully unfriendly things to uh, enemy characters, like stabbing them in the eye, slicing their throat, bashing their heads against pillars. Very, very uh, gratifying. Uh, you can use the melee system also with the environment. So you can bash somebody's head against the wall or kick them into cover. And when they're still dazed from the move you just performed, you can pull out your knife and stab them to death. Well, we looked at ways to get the player more quickly into cover, so we came up with a slide mechanic. You can slide into cover, but you can also freeform slide. So in some cases, if the tactic is right, you can slide underneath enemy fire, turn around and shoot him in the side or shoot him in the back. Well, at the end of the day, Killzone 3 is a shooter, and a shooter isn't a shooter without some very heavy weapons that you can carry around. So for Killzone 3, we added a, a third weapon slot, and in this slot you can carry the most heavy weapons. The first Killzone had these really massive uh, gyro-stabilized weapons, uh, and that's something that we bought back for Killzone 3. So now we're giving the player a giant minigun that he can carry around, as well as the Wasp rocket launcher, which is a, a multi-rocket anti-vehicle weapon. What I'm most proud of for Killzone 3 is uh, how all these new mechanics come together and work together really well.